<laughs> okay, I'll test the clicker one more time. Yeah, uh, that works. Well, hi. Um, we are the Great Bubble Barrier, and we were searching a couple of months ago for the solution, an elegant solution, uh, to prove that you can separate litter from streaming waters. And we want it to fulfill the main requirement, which is ship, fish, and human friendly. We found it. We found it with a little bit of a jacuzzi uh, idea. Uh, we put a, a, a tube on the bottom of a river, we put high pressure air on it, and through the little holes on the top of it, we make a, a curtain of bubbles. And with that curtain of bubbles, which is naturally shaped as a V, we can, we can stop the litter from going to the ocean, and because it's streaming water, the litter will be pushed from uh, the bottom of the river, so all the microplastics as well, to the surface of the water. Moreover, we thought about this design and we thought we can make it more strate strategic. Over here you see uh, a top view. The bubbles over here are two air beams. This depicts the current of the river. And you will have uh, conveyor belts on the side of the river. As you can see, a litter will go uh, downstream to the air beams, will be caught. And then by the stream and by the barrier, which is diagonal, it will be slowly pushed to the side to the conveyor belt. Um, uh, boats and ships can just go over it because it's not a mechan me mechanical uh, surface uh, um, me mechanic. And fish can just make a little slalom, a little pass around it. So all the natural life and the, the normal way of the delta can still be, still be maintained. Moreover, it has a really, really beneficial side effect, uh, which is called aeration. Aeration is increasing the oxygen, uh, oxygen rate within the water. And if you increase it, you improve the ecological system. Um, it's feasible, viable, and desir desirable. It's a proven technology into the oil industry, but it's a new concept. It's really easily maintained, and it's an economic total solution for all rivers applied to big rivers and small rivers. The feedstock that we have with the plastic that we catch um, can be used to build new barriers even. As a team, we would like to start with implementing um, in cooperation with governmental institutions, and then later we, we can maybe go to the private market um, to also help camping sites and that kind of nature parks. Um, al already we have an available team with a lot of disciplinaries in it, and uh, we have a non-profit uh, view on it, and we would really just really like to implement our solution. Um, we thought about more plans around it, which I can't go into detail right now, but we have an education plan, public interaction, and data collection connected to it. Well, you see on the rudder, you see that it's, it's pushed to the side, and then we have a conveyor belt. Yeah, okay, that was really fast. <laughs> Outside, we have a skill module way bigger, and then we can show it again. I'm sorry that it wasn't that visual, but... A lot of people already saw that it really worked, so that's cool. We still have some research questions that we would like to answer in a pilot. Uh, for example, the, si the size of bubbles in relation to, to pressure needed and uh, the current of each river, the size and amount of litter that we can, uh, can catch. Uh, just, we want to specify the energy requirements and we know it's really low in maintenance, but we want to know exactly how much is needed. Um, we need a pilot site for that. We need construction and water engineers, and uh, we need uh, money to buy the first pipe and compressor. So if you could help us with that, please come to us and help us. Um, we were thinking about potential co-creators and sponsors, and you'll see a, a big list of us. And um, yeah, I would like to thank you uh, for your attention, and you can find us on social media. Yeah.